Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm probably just going to take like all three of these. Maybe freeze an apple, because then I can just buy that next turn if I need. And you can go to the bag. Just try and keep that alive. Hopefully you won't get one shot by something. Hog, welcome. Organist panda. What kind of background is this? This is a child's bedroom. It's, yeah. <laughs> Before they added it, I didn't think they'd add a background like this. But you know what? I kind of like the aesthetic. I don't know how well it fits, but I like the aesthetic. Okay, and I think I might just buy the apple here, because then I can buy the apple and just end my turn, save two gold. And we're max HP, so that even if I lose, it doesn't really cost me anything. So, uh, I'm gonna keep it this way, I think. And <laughs> main, hello. Resorting to insults to get us to join. Are you talking about the goofs thing? That's barely an insult. Goof is a... I don't know. I use goof as like a friendly, you know, like silly or something. Eating a pepperoni cheese roll, does that not go well? Oh, that doesn't go well with your acidic reflux. Ooh, yeah, no, I can imagine. I've had acidic reflux before and it's not fun. Dan, hello. Today's going to be a great day. Hope so. I don't think I'm doing a full length stream today, by the way, guys. I'm planning to do just like a little bit of arena games and then... um. Switch over to early viewer lobbies and probably do that for like two hours. Like, I'm thinking to do a lot more viewer lobby stuff instead. We're definitely taking Osprey. I don't need the achievement, but it is a good pet to have. Probably going to take a stilt too. Maybe give it to Cherry. Uh, roll once. Yeah, roll once. Okay, so I still want you there probably. And as I do this, it kind of makes more sense to try and keep this alive. So I may run that there instead. And just kind of ignore the bulldog. I am fine getting rid of that, I think. Just need to get my dashboard back up. Black Dragon, hello. You still achievement hunting? It's because I haven't done much achievement hunting. <laughs> like, I've barely done any, so yeah, I need to do a lot more. I'm not really rushing it, though, so I'm fine to take my time. Your dog says 22 hours of your lobbies, and I won't accept a minute less. It definitely doesn't say that, but no, I haven't changed the docket. I, I, I don't know what the dock is going to be, so I didn't set it. And that's why I didn't put it in the title. I can just, you know. Hold on. No dockets. Solved. Alright. So, yeah. I'm going to give this a cherry. Like, I don't want to... I used to like putting a chocolate kick on it, but now that it only gives you two trumpets, uh, you'd get a, you know, 6-6 six, six or whatever. So, I think it is uh, definitely worth getting one of those instead. We do have this, and I think I'll save it for next turn. So, maybe sell Bulldog... Grab this, and then I'm basically just rolling for one more of these two. Or just like food I can buy that I care about. Maybe freeze this while once. I'd rather buy an apple because like the rest is pretty expendable. I guess I'll do that and then roll. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I like where everything is, so I'll keep it like this. It's set in stone now, unfortunately. Definitely not. But yeah, I'm thinking swap over in like half an hour, an hour, and then view lobbies for the rest of the stream. That's the plan, but I don't have a hard time on that. Uh, I do love a Manta Ray. It's not as good early, I feel, because there aren't really things that synergize with it yet. But I'm I'm definitely taking it, so. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I can't really get rid of the Silk Moth because it has the best stats on the team. Because I don't know, I could see this triggering at least once, probably twice. So this is kind of like a, I don't know, 5-7. That's very big. We probably get rid of this, uh, the stilt first. Oh, that's almost like a 7-6 or something. And we get more gold this way. I'm just going to do that. Get rid of you. Take this. Almost tempted to take, like, apples or something. But I don't know. I may hard roll for just, like, avocados. And maybe salads, because not the salads, the other one. Lettuce, because it does hit both of these. Uh, buff something from the, rent, the current tier. I could get rid of the stilt and then play this and then buy a salad. Then I'm hitting three things. Kind of like that. And then I'm probably just going <laughs> to buy the avocado and end my turn. Okay, so let's like rearrange it a little bit. Something like this. So you're going to buff that. And I'm fine keeping that for a couple of turns. Blue note, hello. Hello. 
close fight. We have lost another thing. Did I like that name though? Like, <laughs> I want a zombie soft in the game. Uh, I could take a you know buy sell a penguin. Like it's not bad value, but I don't I don't love half the stuff I have in my team. I'd rather find like a level up for the baboon or just loads more salads or avocados. And there we go. And I'm gonna keep on calling it salads because I do not remember the name. Lettuce. This is by another one of these. <laughs> I don't know, like, I could try and level the Osprey. It's good if I get, like, a Bird of Paradise from it. Because I think that's, like, the end goal for this team. I'd love to find a um, Macaque as well. That's decent if we're going to have an empty slot. So, I don't know, I could try and level it. It's going to be very difficult to get rid of. You, I'm less sure about. So, I might leave the Baboon. Level up, because I'd rather roll for some other things. Like, I really want to get the Manta Ray, Manta Ray going hard. And I kind of like having a magpie on my team in the late game. We're okay here, right? Yeah, okay. I was worried this weakness was going to mean we wouldn't be able to kill anything. Alright, so I'm going to grab this. I'm really hoping to level the Manta Ray, because that could be a lot of money for us. Bananas are very strong as well. So I think I may be taking some of those. So let's take at least one banana here. Don't care about the rest of this. I... Continue to not care. Show me more of these. No, there's no point buying avocados yet. And sure, okay. Do I keep the magpie over the baboon? Like, probably not. Yeah, probably not. So, put on there. We can sell this whenever we need to. I'm not going to force it, but... Yeah. Currently actively avoiding doing work. Yeah, I know, it's very, very relatable. No, I was meant to do a lot of stuff today, and I ended up just, like, hanging out downstairs with my family, playing, like, Marika. Which was great, but then I didn't do anything, so. I don't know, I, I basically took this, like, weekend off. Uh, yes, I still do not care about getting more of these. Like, I don't want to invest in that, like, yes, good, one more of these. I could even get rid of the magpie and just play these separately, but it's not that big of a buff. So, yeah, we'll just keep throwing that there. And, yeah, I'll buy an avocado, roll once more. We are done for this turn. I'm hoping I don't lose again, because we haven't been getting that much stronger. I've just been forcing loads of money forward, but not buying much. Ooh. Yeah, no, this is a definite loss. Very large ox thing. Okay, so I still don't want any of this. I'd love to find a, ma a macaque. That is another, like, 12-12 on the team. If I can find some light levels for things as well, it'd be great. Ah, uh, I don't want these things. <laughs> I don't know. I think I probably just, like, doom roll this until we're dead. I'll buff these, but... Oh, God. I mean, maybe I pivot to something else? Because having this leveled up early could be great scaling for us. Do I need the emu? I don't. Well, I have to do this at the very least, and I'm wondering if I just kind of ignore the blurring the octopus, the, um, sorry, the manta ray thing for now. Yeah, I may do. I think I have to keep this, because I do need the um, blurring the octopus and the catfish, and this is a great start if I manage to get that going. So maybe you freeze a warthog as well, because that's something I wouldn't mind having. Save one gold with the magpie. I'm just going to keep everything on the team, so... Yeah, this isn't going to trigger, but I don't want to sell anything, so I'm hoping the baboon hits this. Doesn't matter too much, but it'd be nice. Hey, there we go. Alright, I think that's what we're doing then. I'm trying a Blue Ring Doctopus Catfish game. Who's Magpie, then Waffles to victory. I mean, Waffles are definitely very good, especially now that this is level 2. But yeah, I want this on the team, so I think Magpie is the next thing I get rid of. It probably is, yeah. Gives me a bit extra gold, too. Then you. I don't know what to do with the chocolate. Like, I do need the warthog thing as well, but it'd be very difficult to get, like, everything leveled up. Can't hit anything else. I don't know what you mean. Oh, did you mean the, um, baboon? Yeah, you're right. For some reason, I thought it was still going for the manta ray. Uh... I'm gonna try. Like, I... I want this to work. Spread that out a bit. Definitely not going for the baboon level up. 
I will do this, I guess. Will the beast? Nah, we don't have the magpie anymore, so I can't just save. And this is too much chocolate. Like, I need to find a catfish or, um, you know, the food that lets me trigger this ability. Maybe you send it this way for now, but yeah. I don't think it's worth freezing another chocolate yet. It's going to be annoying to pivot as well. Like, I feel like I'm very locked into the things I have. And it's kind of not working. Okay, this was a good here. I just need to scale that warthog. If I can do that, then we have... Uh, Good things going on. I think I'm going to leave the Osprey. Like, I could try and level it, but I don't need the achievement. I'm not really looking for much from the way of um, tier 6s. Like, catfish is something I actually need. Finding more warthogs is a maybe, but I would have bought the chocolates if I needed that. The oysters is fine to buy sell, but... Yeah, skip that. <laughs> uh, it's not going to win us any games. We need to get the scaling going before I buy these. So I need catfish... Okay, let's just lock in. I'm going to get rid of something. I think the boon first, maybe? I'm going to get rid of the boon first. I saw that. Okay, so you work on the thing in front. You still going for Manta Ribbon? Oh no, I got the Manta Ribbon ages ago. I don't know where it is, but yeah, there it is. We have the Manta. So yeah, spend one gold to activate by ability of the nearest friend ahead. So he needs to be behind the Blurring Doctopus, but that's like the only condition. <laughs> You're not going to work. I'm going to have a full team. I sell you before I do anything else, then yeah. I don't know if I can afford to do that, but like its ability isn't worth it. I don't really care about getting the other thing. Highland better than Manta? Yeah, but I have like 2 HP and I'd rather get scaling. There's a lot of things that are better than these two, but you know, buying something that is like 15-15 smaller is not... Amazing. I'd rather find some stuff. Yeah, now that we have you, I think that's fine. Uh, I could try and replace something next turn if I don't die. Still kind of hate that I haven't found any um, things for this, though. If we had more triggers, I think we could have been pretty safe. And thankfully, that was a, a nothing team. Sell Osprey by Pezzle. Why? <laughs> I'm fine selling the Osprey, but like... I mean, am I? Don't I sell the Manta Ray first? Because at least this is like summoning a, um, I don't know. I guess it's only a 1-1 one, one thing. Or like a 3-2. Yeah, I think I get rid of the Manta Ray first. Like, this has better equipment, but, you know, that ability is doing literally nothing for us. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to trust that I can find something else worth having on the team. Cobra, maybe? I think a Cobra behind the Osprey could be cool. Yeah, I'm going to do that, I think. All right, can I find the level for that? Not you. Uh, sure, at least we have that for later then. So I might be able to get like three triggers out of this if I sent it like that, which might be worth it. We can try it. It's kind of scary having it right to the back though. If I had to delete one animal, what would it be? Uh, delete, huh? I don't know. I mean, I feel like the, um, the Joe Boa is terrible. So I guess that, because I never use it, but I also don't really see the need of, like, deleting a pet I never use. Finally found another thing there. I'm just going to roll the rest of my money away. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going to be dead. I'm just going to freeze this anyway. Let's see if we can, like, level that up soon. I think having that is good as well. Duck? Why would you get rid of the duck? What did the duck do? Oh, come on. Actually scams. The weakness actually killed me. The ink. Shame. Okay. Tragic ground. It was. It was so close and we died because we couldn't snipe anything. Like, it actually destroys you sometimes. I feel like normally if I um, get countered by ink and stuff, it's because they're replacing great equipment. We didn't really have any equipment, but that actually destroyed my pets at the end. Is sellability is the worst in the game? I disagree. I like the duck. Is the duck is genuinely like one of my most picked tier ones. It's a tier one you can't expect to be good late. Yeah, exactly. That's just how it works. Duck is better than beaver? It is, because it has a nicer, like, distribution. 
I don't know. I feel like I get better trades with a 2-3 than a 3-2. Like, I take Possum over Chipmunk as well. I don't really want to take these, but I may take a Groundhog. Oh, never mind. I take all of it then. So do this. Take one of these. Uh, no idea what the best order is, so I'm just going to send it like that. Get to save one gold. And because we won the last one, we're still pretty safe to, um, you know, <laughs> lose if that's what's going to happen. That was a great snipe. And we do get to win. Okay. I think Chipmunk is underrated. I think it's good if you manage to keep it to the point where you can get, like, multiple bananas from it, maybe. But I don't think it's usually worth keeping it that long, so... Yeah, I don't know. Love this stilt. I don't know whether it's worth like, buying apples or anything. Uh, I actually need, still need the stilt ribbon. I did not know. Probably need the door head ant too, huh? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually worth like pushing for this. I may just sell it now, or... I don't know, sell a tamarind, maybe? Or a sea urchin? Or a squid? <laughs> I think they're both okay. I'm going to take both of these, and then we can just like, end on a cherry. Use all my gold. So, I think you may stay the longest, so you can have this. And then everything else you can just, I don't know, run it like that or something. If you kill Turtle onto it, it gives free early melons. True? But you can also just pill Turtles onto other things. I don't know, I have not experimented with, um, you know, I just don't know. I don't know how um, valuable this is. I think what I'm going to do here is like sell Groundhog, buy a separate stilt, and then maybe just like buy an apple for my sea urchin. Because out of everything on my team, I think sea urchin is probably going to stay the longest because it's going to be level 2 next turn. So yeah, sell you, get another one of these, buy apple, and then we can buy that next turn. The other thing I could have done was just like combine those and play this separately. Probably would have been smarter, actually. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking it. Has to be level 2 to be useful. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not hard to get it to level 2, but it's still like... It's another step for that not that much of a... Thing. Like, it costs 4 gold to buy and sell, you know, to buy and pill a different turtle. So, you know. <laughs> it may cost a lot more just to, like, get the thing on your team and, uh, you know... Have that dead slot for so long. Slug, I am taking that, I think. I probably do just combine those stilts. Yeah, combine that, grab this. We don't need synergy for it yet, it just needs to exist. And then, you know what? This is trying to save a load of money. So let's do something like that. Hold on, removes five health from the first two enemies. I'm going to move that just in front of the slug, so hopefully the slug will be able to kill like two things by itself. The early viewer lobbies, yeah. Have not decided when we're going to start, but probably soon, instead of like two hours in. All right, more avocado. I do love a weasel. I don't know if it's worth buying this turn because I probably want to pivot to like a load of tier four stuff instead of just, you know, basic tier three. Uh, let's keep rolling. I'd rather buy like one more avocado or a. No, oh, actually, I was gonna say um this, but I only have one thing to work on. You are great. Let's buy another one of these. Awesome. <laughs> oh, we're going to have so much money next turn. I'm just hoping I'm not going to lose. When am I doing a Poison Dart Prog game, actually? Because I think I might need, uh, might still need that. And I have a lot of trophies. And if you're going to do a Poison Dart Prog game, you want to get the wins early. At least in my opinion. Plus, I'm catching a stream and I somehow already... You're somehow already gifted a sub. Wait, yeah, how was... How did that happen? Thank Pancake Fish. But if it's their first time in stream, how would it know to gift them one? Still. <laughs> Welcome then. Welcome and congratulations on the mystery sub. And I'm keeping it. We're just gonna waffle this up, I think. That's how I'm going to scale. So, of the things on my team, I only need the... the stilt, I think. Yeah. So I don't know. I think Magpie is the worst thing on my team, so I can sell that definitely, and then maybe just like get Blooming Doctor this, buy every waffle I see for a while, then decide what to do after that. 
Uh, I don't really care about the baboon. I don't really care about lettuce either. We're fine. Yeah, just, <laughs> just more of these. I, I do love manta ray, but I don't think I'm buying tier 4 stuff. I think we just like... I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going to keep scaling things I don't care about. No. Not the waffle. Perfect. Yeah, these are getting very large. Okay, okay. Oh, sea urchin. It's like synergy. It is kind of. It depends how much HP things have. Right now it's helping. Or at least it would if my slug wasn't also massive, but... I need stilt for teeth to skip stilts. Guys, I can't stream and do things, but also I did not see it. I imagine it, I rolled because it didn't have sparkles underneath it, because it takes like five seconds for sparkles to appear when you end a turn or start a turn. Uh, I'm just I'm just going to keep doing this. like Until I can find more of these naturally, then... I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I care about this. Okay, you know, I'm going to take a banana as well. Freeze. Do I want to freeze these? I probably do. I'll keep them frozen. It's still good value, but I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this team. <laughs> what were these waffles last round? No idea. And we could have been getting such better value as well. Please. Obviously, last round we had a level 2 uh, octopus guy. Alright, the question is whether I roll hard, because the only reason I kept these frozen is because I don't really need chocolate yet. Because I don't think it's worth throwing chocolate onto a blue ringed octopus. But, um... Well, you know, unless you already have a catfish or something, but... Yeah, I'm wondering if I roll for normal blue ringed octopuses first, and just keep these frozen for a while. Because, again, I don't know how long I'm actually keeping these things. Hmm. Is there anything else that I need here? I do need a Nyala. I can maybe take one of those instead of the squid. It's just nice to have on the team. I'm going to roll a bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and keep this still then. We'll go for that level up. Uh, I'm keeping the waffles frozen. I'm not. Okay, let's try and level the Nyala. Like, this thing... It's good value, it's plus 4-4, four, four, but I don't know how many of these things I'm actually keeping, and then over time they're going to end up being like temporary stats, so... Yeah. Nyala Nershot game. I could maybe look for those. Avocado, do I want to have loads of money next turn, or do I need it now? I think I'm fine rolling for it now. Like, if I do find Nyala Nershot and Chocolate, then that's probably the best stuff for this team at the moment. Like, having a Pterodon would be cool, but that's only after I have some of this other stuff going. Ooh. Hello, Cobra. Uh, what now? <laughs> Do I just stack this again? I... I guess so. Okay. Still... Okay, we're still kind of trying to get that going. Okay, cool. Uh, loving that so far. Yeah, if I can get a Pterodon for this, I'd have to swap those two around so Pterodons would work on there, but... Yeah, we'd be getting like a very big sum. Hello, Lettuce. No, it's a loss. It was a loss. Probably not bad here. True? I do have a lot of faint things. Okay, bear. I do not care, I think. It would be terrible, but... So you can find something more directly synergistic. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing still. We don't have money generation, so it'd be very annoying to get that going. I don't know if I'm doing, like, a Blue Ring Octopus game. Like, I might be able to coast that to the end, but... How am I going to get a um, another level up? Or do I just stick it out with the... <laughs> stick it out with the stilt? I'm still going to leave the waffle, but I, I may try and keep this. And then, I don't know. Probably get rid of the slug before the urchin. If I am getting rid of anything. You're obsessed with death for some reason, I'll buy it even when it's not a good idea. I mean, I'm the same. Like, I genu genuinely love having a bear on my team. And hey, we're like, nine wins. We actually may be able to do this. Okay, I'm gonna throw like... You on there. I may just unfreeze the octopus, because like... I think one more round of buffs on that isn't going to do anything, whereas like having a backline crane or something for my big summon, or a Tyranodon, either of those could be amazing. So, yeah, I'm just going to sell this. Sell that, buy a crane. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I wish I could use some of this stuff. Maybe you just go for the Nyala. See if I get a draw. Let me do that. I'm going to freeze this just in case it does get like a second trigger off. But yeah, if there's a draw, I want to level the Nyala because I do need that as well. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping that the slug gets one shot. Because if it doesn't, then the slug is the one that's going to get the... Oh, well now it's on the sea urchin. Hold on, should I be afraid? I should. <laughs> okay, there's another turn. Firehead, hello. Right, so... I don't know, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I actually do this. Like, I can level this, but I didn't really do anything last time. Maybe keep it frozen and... <sighs> it's also a nurse shark. It would be pretty nice. It's not insane when it's a level 1 nurse shark, though. It's decent, and it might be better than a regular slug. I kind of want to just hard roll for the Nyala, but... What I may do is, like, sell slug, buy nurse shark, and level up the crane. Crane might get sniped. Yeah. Chocolate cake. I know, but, like, I don't know what I do. You know, okay, let's just buy stuff. If I lose again, then we can try and find some chocolate cake and stuff. Potato on there is pretty good as well. Uh... Yeah, you can be... I mean, I'm getting like eight trumpets from that. I probably do want the snipe bigger, so I'll let that be here. I think I'm fine with everything else. I know having the crane at the back isn't insane, because that's where um this equipment is always going to hit. Oh, scary. <laughs> very, very close, but no. Okay, no shock again. I'll freeze it. I want this. It's more important to roll for a um, chocolate cake for this, I think, or a level for the Nyala. Or Pteranodon, maybe. Okay, level for the Ny Nyala. Good. I could also maybe just get rid of the Sea Urchin for a second shark. But I don't know if that's worth it. This has much bigger stats, does up to like 10 extra damage with its ability. Probably going to leave that. Yeah, okay. No, okay, this is all very nice. <laughs> if there is a draw, then we can maybe get some of this. Move Shark in front of Nyala. But then it doesn't get max value, because we only get 8 Trumpets, so it's only going to do like 24 instead of stuff. Like, I'd still rather that happen, I think. At least the Crane's somewhat safe now. Uh, that is a very healthy Falcon. I don't know if we beat that. Oh, <laughs> okay, we do, barely. Very, very barely, but we got the Nihiler and the Stilt. So there's a couple. Not bad, not bad. Huge melon, it was. <laughs> the melon actually clutched it. Happy to have that. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple down. So I do still need to get the Nerf Shark as well. I was meant to go for some Nerf Shark games recently, actually. And I had not remembered. This is not a great team. <laughs> Alright. Let's be the bumbling streamers. Definitely not blessed. We did just get a win, but I wouldn't call that blessed. And we actually managed to get a draw. I'll take that. We love 1 HP wins. I'm actually not against it, because that did give us a... Um, you know, like, we stalled out the game long enough to also get the Nyala ribbon. If we had won, like, a few turns before, then we'd only have had the stilt. So, yeah, I'm for it. Let's see then. So I want these to get it. Or do I want one of these? I'm gonna run it like this, I think. The shocking customs is incredible. I imagine. I bet there's like a lot of synergy with like honestly, even just like mushrooms. I bet like mushrooms with like, you know, a lot of those things are just like crazy value or tigers maybe. Like tiger pterodon. I imagine that's a great combo with some things. See what this is, and it is a meerkat. I have the achievement already. And I don't I mean it's probably worth having on the team, but I don't know how long I want to keep something like that with me. Maybe sell possum, buy my slightly bigger sea urchin. Meerkat. Okay. I don't want to freeze apple, but I guess I don't. We want cherries if we're taking any of this. Another one of those is fine. We probably don't want to level the cone snail again. But I do also need the Cone Snail achievement, so maybe this is where I go for it. 
Uh, well, it's kind of awkward with the thing around, but... Yeah, no, this is all really weird. <laughs> okay, I probably want, like, one of these to get most of the HP. I can't have the sea urchin at the back. I don't want the cone snail in front of the meerkats. But I want the meerkat to be hitting these two things, so I think I'm gonna run it like this this time. But it does not feel great. Loving a shot game is insane at level 3. Yeah, I've only had a couple where I've had, like, you know, high level Nurshark. But it does seem very, very good. Pterodon Tiger, Nurshark, and Nyala, all with mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, pretty strange. When will your lobbies be? I'm thinking maybe after this game, or maybe after the game after that, or whatever. Jess, hello. Yeah, I think I'm taking both of these. We're going to go for the Cone Sail achievement then. Probably going to try for something else as well, but they're already here. And yeah, I like old penguin. I don't like the new one. So, I don't know. Take this or you. Yeah, yeah, because then you die and then we get to summon the tiny thing. So then the tiny thing can probably trade and that's pretty good for us. <laughs> close. Very close. You were getting ready to stream the rest of the next first demos? And I saw you alive and went knack. <laughs> Wait. I don't know anything about the next first. I'd have to look that up actually. I know I've heard of it, but. Hmm. Uh well I'm very tempted to get the baboon and like stack on the meerkats. I do want to buy lettuce as well, but. I don't know, is it terrible to run like loads of separate meerkats? It probably is. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use um this to buff my front two there though, so that's gonna buff these. Then just stack that by this. Freeze lettuce? Oh, there we go. Okay, I actually think I'm going to sell like my chipmunk this turn. And then I can run double baboon for a bit, but I do want to stack them pretty soon. So like, there's a chance they'll buff each other, which isn't insane, but I'm still for it. I'm gonna roll a bit more. Okay. So let's try something like this. Okay, good. And the yeah, the boons didn't both hit each other. It's almost over, but it's like hundreds of demos on Steam. I already have a lot of games I need to play. <laughs> I'm terrible about like I you know I'll find a good a new game i know i'd enjoy it and i you know have it on like a to playlist and then i never end up touching it wolfinator hello is dark and dark a part of it if so i hope this full release comes out a while after this playtest yeah i saw that the playtest was actually extended so like, i think that was meant to end yesterday or something it seems like a really cool game i mean <laughs> loving watching dumb dog and justin play it any games you've been playing off stream do you ever play Oh, do I ever play Sap off stream? I do for videos, yeah. I don't play much Sap like for fun off stream anymore. But I've been playing a lot of Nintendo stuff like uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, bit of Smash, uh, lots of Super Animal Royale, and I'm trying to cut back on that actually. Uh, what do I do here? I might go for one of the level ups now. Yeah, let's get the baboon level up now. I'm gonna do that, Cuttlefish. I think that's fine. I may just like take the Cuttlefish by Lettuce. Freeze that for next turn, and yeah, we're still going for the Cone Snail. So I am fine with this. Uh, sea Urchin is definitely getting worse, because now we don't have many small things. Yeah, should have moved the Cuttlefish further forward though. Like, that did not need the extra attack. It's one of the ways that indie games gain traction. You have a backlog the size of Texas. I, I do have a very very big backlog, but the problem is I end up just not playing things. Which I know play a lot and it's hilarious. Oh, Dark and Darker? I watched it a little bit, but... Yeah, the game itself looks amazing, and I can't wait until that is like... You know, out, out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a lot of things to buy here. I may start with the Meerkat, because it's also huge. Uh, Fire Ant is, like, very good with a thing. Feign to give attack to one random friend. Oh, that's synergy with the meerkats. 
I don't know. Do I not go for the cone snail? I feel like I don't want to have to do that. Make some psycho plays. Try not to betray a friendly challenge. No. <laughs> Has he seriously been like team killing or something? I've seen a lot of people like trying to, you know, shoot over their friend's shoulder or something and accidentally like, you know, hitting them in the back of the head with an arrow or a fireball. I just love the attacks. Can you post a link? I mean, I can say yes, but I'm not sure if I have bots that are set up to catch it. So... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really interact with um, links up in chat. Like, I know you'll, you'd post something safe, but I can't remember what the settings are at the moment for that. Uh, macaque. I do love a macaque, but I don't think I want to sell two things to make that work. I am very tempted to get rid of the cone snail or something, though, but I think I'm just gonna... Ah, uh, okay, you know what? No, never mind. Cone snail, you are done. I'm gonna try and go for something else, because despite being at fairly high HP, we don't have um, many trophies yet, so I can probably go for a late game. So let's try going for something else, like a red ant, maybe, because I do need that. And Lexans, thank you. Thank you very much for the Prime. And I can hear my alerts now. I had, After many settings changes, I've got it working. Also, thank you for the clip. I am... Hold on. I'm not going to watch it on stream, but I'm <laughs> opening it in a tab for later. Alright, awesome. Uh, avocados. No, we don't need that yet. I mean, I could go for it next turn, because there's not much I'm looking for at this tier. So, sure, I'll freeze that. Don't really want to have to buy bananas. Probably not going to try and get that leveled up. And what's the best way to do this? Maybe like this? Sure. Okay. So, Sea Urchin is definitely the next thing to go. But it also does have a decent ability, so I don't know when I do that. It also didn't blow out your eardrums. Wait, really? I didn't... I don't think I changed the volume on this or anything. I do want to get a different alert, though. Like, I, I love that alert. I love the music. But I do feel like it's a little bit um, long and or loud if it gets spammed. And Valson, hello. Oh, hello. Hold on. There's another thing. Uh, buy avocado. Maybe buy one of these. I can sell the sea urchin, maybe. Yeah, I could have just around, like, double cuttlefish. That's probably better. But there's, there is a chance that the baboon would hit it, so maybe, maybe not. Yeah, freeze that. Let's just buy avocado for now. I don't want to have to take more of these. Would chocolate cake on the fire ant be a good idea? It gives this attack to a second random thing. But everything also already has very high attack. And, you know, they're going to be having like a lot higher attack because of this thing. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm at with that. I'm going to take this just for like the 1-1, one, one, because if I roll, I'm really looking for like nothing from this tier, so. Yeah, I'll take the guaranteed value there and then just send it, I think. I just got to go with the sun for sure. Yeah, it was definitely the weakling. I don't think we had to get rid of it, but we didn't need it on the team anymore. Still. I was going to say we like barely won that, but no, they had, <laughs> they had ink, so it didn't really hurt. Yeah, Tyrannodon. That can be amazing with the cuttlefish. It would also work well with the fire ant, but I also didn't get rid of it, so no. <laughs> So yeah, I need to work out whether I'm doing that with the cuttlefish or the fire ant, because this can basically give um, weakness to everything. Or I can get like extra attack on a couple of things. i probably do it this way to start, because I feel like that makes more sense. Oh, we can level up the fire ant. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, Bird of Paradise. Oh god, there's too many options. <laughs> there's, there's too many good options. Am I going to grab another Delta Rune sound? I don't know. Probably not. I, I like um little Zelda jingles. I like a lot of the rupee sounds, so I may take one of those. For a while, yours was Queen's Laugh. What? <laughs> Wait, I actually don't know if I've ever heard the Queen Laugh. I don't really follow the royal family that much. Did you make it the coin noise, from, coin noise from Sap? I actually thought about making it the level up sound before, but I thought that may get confusing if I'm using, you know, game sounds for alerts from the main game that I play, because obviously it's going to be like overlapping with sounds from the game. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking at all this and I'm like, well, I want to take Bird of Paradise and Silver Fox. 
I'm just scared that I won't be able to win if I don't, because that's like actual scaling and it could get us somewhere. Like, we don't have a lot of trophies, we have a lot of HP. I can probably afford to pivot if I really want to. So what I could do is like get rid of Baboon, get rid of Pterodon or the Meerkats. And then I can just like scale up with these. I think I do freeze them at least. Okay, yeah, leave everything where it is. So we're going to be hitting four things with weakness or ink. Oh, you met from Delta Room. I still can't picture the sounds. I know the I know the queen you're talking about now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of the baboon. Like it is targeting the fire ants, probably. Yeah, it has to be. But I feel like Pterodon Cuttlefish is probably carrying a lot of these fights. I feel like if we're keeping the fire ant, I probably want the meerkat for a while. Very exaggerated, and she goes, oh ho ho ho. Wait, is it kind of like the microbe? I feel like that has a little evil laugh. For some reason, I like, <laughs> I locked my head there too. Uh, I don't know. I may just get rid of Pterodon Baboon, and then just try this as scaling, and then I can go for the Fire Hand achievement. This doesn't feel good. This really doesn't feel good, but I want to see. Uh, I'd have to go for more... I may buy sell something, because then I can get a second trigger on this, I think. Because right now I have 10 gold, and I need... Yeah, I need 11 to get it to trigger twice. So I'm just going to buy sell a random thing here, just to <laughs> make sure that works. So there's one trigger. And then I need to just find, like, chocolate and stuff. Banana's fine. I'm just going to hard roll, though, because if I can find any, any of these three, then that'd be great for later. Okay. Uh, leveling the cuttlefish. I... I don't know. And wait, Talicus, thank you very much for the prime. Very kind of you. Uh, I'll be leaving the cuttlefish level up, I think. I already have the achievement. I think that was actually the first one I got. Uh, I will be doing something like that, though. I don't know, this doesn't feel good. Like, this is very far behind. Like, I kind of, like, I need to get the gold from this, otherwise I'm getting at most, like, one trigger off the Bird of Paradise at home. <laughs> we didn't get anything. No extra gold. Ooh. Well, I feel like this makes sense. I don't know. Is that where I end up like selling something so I can make sure the Bird of Paradise always hits like Cuttlefish, Fire Ant, Silver Fox, probably? Because then I can also buy sell if I need to. Like this is doing well at the moment, and it does synergize well with Bird of Paradise, but. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Cuttlefish is too good. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe I do get rid of something then. Do I throw and get rid of the Cuttlefish? Because I do kind of want to keep the Meerkat for, like, big attack. Because I can get rid of that, and then I keep the Meerkat. Because, like, Meerkat synergizes with both Fire Ant and my money build. So I may try that. It's like, sell this for Cuttlefish. Yeah. I know, but if I have to get rid of something, then I'm going to do that. So, guarantee that we hit these three. Uh, maybe, hold on. Stack on top of this, so it only hits these three, and then I can buy that at the end. And then, you can hit both of these. I'm going to leave you there. I'm thinking that this will hit this time. Because there's no way we're going to clear out everything with just these three. Because despite having a lot of attack, uh, they don't have a lot of HP. And yet, they did it. Oh, wait. <laughs> One trigger, good enough. Okay, so I can stack that on there whenever I need to. I'm hoping to find some decent stuff. You are great. Uh, might as well just buy that direct, right? Okay, you are great as well. If I buy it, though, if I buy it right now, then it's going to, um, it might get a buff, so we definitely do this first. Pteranodon, no. Uh... I mean, Duranodon is very good with the Fire Ants, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe to try and not lose. I don't want to have to buy that. I'd rather run a 4 squad. <laughs> I'd genuinely rather run a 4 squad. Maybe I put, like, Pitta Bread on here to maybe get a load more, like, golden. Kino Wen. What was, what's the question? 
And Tyranodon back on the team again. He would be decent, but like we don't really need this to trigger more times. Like I just need my scaling to keep going. I'm kind of tempted to just put the pitch bread on here and then call it a turn though. Am I playing the weekly? No, I'm playing um golden pack. Yeah, let's do that then, so we get another trigger. I'm just gonna roll once and sure, sure. Okay, so I can try and level this maybe. We don't really need it, but if we do happen to go into the late game, then this getting leveled up again isn't really painful for us. I do wish that I had it like this way around or something, because you probably need the attack more than the Silver Fox, but I feel bad having that at the back. So I'm going to leave it this way, I think. When Valorant streams. Still never. It's not happening. It's not literally a never, but yeah, I have no plans. <laughs> How am I meant to know what sort of teams I'm going up against? I thought this was like almost definitely going to get a hit in. Okay, so we need that to happen. Fine with this. I don't want to have to buy a banana. And hey, good things. Okay, so I can buy and sell the oyster, then like buy avocado, and then we're basically done and we get another trigger. So, yeah. <laughs> I will do that. I could buy more avocados. It's not terrible. Like, it's good for the uh, bird of paradise, at least. We don't really need any other of these because we already have all the achievements. So I'm going to leave things where they are. If we win again without the Silver Fox hitting something, it's not even that bad, because we'll be on nine wins. Look at the attack on these things. What? Okay. Buying you. I... Hmm. I mean, I want to do a lot of these things, but I don't know if we'd actually ever get any value out of it. Maybe just, like, buy a tomato for you, buy a chocolate for you. Keep rolling. We don't really need to level this either, but I don't know. I kind of want to. Or maybe on there. Like you're you're not going anywhere, so you might as well hit something at the start. Uh, buy sell stoats. Sure. If we get another bird of paradise, it's nice, and then I can always end on the um pit of bread. Thankfully, it didn't hit that. <laughs> it's another one of these. Ah, uh, I I still sell it. We're at nine nine things. So yeah, I'm still gonna sell that. I'm gonna take the pit of bread. Makes a big difference, I think. Definitely don't need to level it, though. And, uh, yeah, go crazy, team. You can do it. Whenever you have Silver Fox, it's, like, first or second. Normally it would be for me as well, but I was afraid that it was going to get, like, you know, insta-killed. It didn't get any attacks in. It died from snipes. Damn, okay. Okay, we take this. Uh... I mean, I could try and fit something else on the team. Like a bear, maybe. Probably not going to take a tomato if I do, though. I don't want a pretzel. Like, this is a tier 3. Uh, you are a fine buy-sell. I may buy the avocado first, in case I lose. Because it means this won't also get buffed by the Bird of Paradise, so we can do that. Buy-sell you. I'm going to freeze the Nyala, because I may end up buying that this turn. Definitely don't need another Fire Ant. Okay, I'm going to buy this. There's a chance it's going to take the Bird of Paradise hit, but, you know, and <laughs> it didn't. Awesome. Okay, I think this is safe to keep at the back, because it's the only thing summoning trumpets. Uh, I could do... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> right at the back. I do it like this, maybe. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if this does anything. No, because I wanted you on the fire ant. Ah, uh, it's too much. Okay, I'm just like sending like this. I can't think. That with your bear was brutal. In terms of it being good or hard to get the achievements? Because I definitely think a level 3 bear is very good. But there we go. We got the fire ants. We're one more game in. And we're almost at the hour, so I think this is where I'm calling the arena games.